Alright guys, we're about to start work on clearing out this area here. I already cleared out some of this yesterday, cut it down, it all looked like that over there. And I'm going to work on getting that cut out because we're putting up, hopefully we'll get the most of a chicken coop up today. All right, guys, uh, this is the after. Uh, we've been out here for probably four hours or more, maybe five hours, clearing brush. Um, this is some of it here. We got probably three, at least uh, three piles this big that we've been burning. Um, you can see back there, we still got some more to clear out. Most of that's cut. We just gotta drag it out and I gotta cut down all that grass. And we got some limbs off of a tree that I cut down here and there that we gotta pull out and get into this pile. But this is probably, this is it for us today. We're done. All right, guys, we uh, finished up the chicken pen. You can see Amy's in there taking care of the chickens. It's kind of an L shape. We have one of the goose in here to guard the chickens. We got their swing set, the little gray chicken coop in there. And over here, We have the chicken coop. We find when we clear this property, we find so much trash. There's a lid of a Copenhagen can. God knows how old that is. Try to get them out of the pool. But the real, the chickens are real happy with this. They love it. They love this yard. Come on, baby boy. And they're not all in the muck like they were over there in the chicken coop or in the duck yard. The ducks can handle the mud, the chickens not so much. Here's our uh, turkeys. <laughs> and we are finally getting uh, eggs from one of them. Amy believes it's from the, uh, the Royal Palm, the white and black turkey there. I'll show you. She already got the egg from them. This is our second turkey egg. We'll eat a couple of these, um, but we're, you know, after they start laying pretty good, we're, uh, we're going to start incubating them. The goose has a pool all to himself and uh, it can go a couple days without having to be cleaned up but Amy always dumps it every night she has high standards for her for her animals that water has to be clear well you know and you know especially here in Florida you know this some you know 
we don't get a very long spring and then it's just summer for nine months <laughs> yeah you know so having clean fresh water at least every night helps cool them down and it's good for them yeah and he absolutely loves it too yeah hi baby boy he doesn't have to fight the ducks or his brother or his brother for it now his brother is still over here in the duck pen we were actually going to he was going to go to freezer camp but while me my uncle is over here helping me build the uh the hog pen that we put in the the um duck run he helped me build that and he fell in love with the goose the goose believe it or not actually came up to him and nudged him to get pet and this was the old pig pen that i threw up because we got these pigs pretty quick and i just threw this thing up to hold them yeah, my uncle came over and we built this for the pigs. Um, it's got decked floor. The sides are nice and high so they can't get out. We've got them, um, if you look at the two by four spacing, they're lower at the bottom so that the small pigs can't squeeze out of it. And uh, towards the top, we got them spaced out farther um, because by the time they're age where they can get up that high they aren't going to get through those slots there um, we got the dog house inside of it with hay we got a trough built inside right there Let me try to get a better angle there you can see the trough where we put their food in we got a plywood door that's cut in two pieces so we can take half of it off or the whole thing when we go to butcher. But I think me and my uncle did a pretty good job. We put this up in two days. And with me with a bad knee and him with a bad back, I think we did a pretty good job. Next weekend, we're going to come and put 10 up on it. So they'll have more protection from the shade. Although, you know, with this oak tree being up here, they're going to have plenty of a shade in the summer anyways. But the ducks are loving this, having this all to themselves too. But again, this is one eye, our other goose. And one eye absolutely hates me, tolerates Amy but came right up to my uncle and wanted attention from my uncle. So he pretty much picked my uncle. So it's going to go home with my uncle and uh, he's going to keep it as a pet, which saves his life because we was going to put it into uh, freezer camp because he wasn't doing his job as a guard goose. He was letting crows come in and get our eggs, eat the eggs that the ducks lay. So, uh, he'll be going home next week. And we're going to get a young gosling and raise him up with the ducks. Let him bond with the ducks as a guard goose. Alright guys, just wanted to give you an update on what's been going on. Y'all have a great day and remember, raise something for your family.